Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, today was not uh, really uh, a great movement in the market. We did very well, uh, but I would like to show something today that doesn't matter what uh, time frame we were using or what instruments, they were all in, on the same range. Before I start uh, talking about this uh, auto trade, uh, we have five different auto trade on the signal uh, here from the market analyzer. This one here is a base on one contract on the last entry signal, not the whole day, the last entry signal. It is 45 ticks. On the last entry signal, we have 110 ticks on the NASDAQ on the YM. We have 26 ticks uh, into the profit and uh, all of it based on one contract. Now, you don't have to trade every one of them. You can choose to have only ES, ES NASDAQ, ES NASDAQ down zones. You decide w which instrument you want to auto trade. So this is uh, from the last entry signal. And uh, this is very good. Uh, don't need any optimization, adjustment. Uh, don't need anything. Just turn on and turn off. That's it. Uh, for the uh, other auto trades, there is uh, around 20 auto trades in the package. I'm not going to cover every one of them. Uh, but uh, we're going to uh, cover the trend bar, which we have uh, the CL uh, did 16. They're all finished in the morning. Uh, before 10 o'clock, if you notice, most of them, they were finished around 10 o'clock morning. So they were not all day trading. Uh, this is uh, just most of them, couple hours uh, a day in the morning and you are done. So the CL did uh, 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 1100 and it was done at around 10 o'clock. Also, uh, this one here, the ES9 range, uh, 2600 was done uh, at 1056. This is not bad at all. The NASDAQ was done around 947 and uh, made 4700 uh, uh, and uh, started around 9 o'clock. So you can see even... Uh, less than one hour in the trade. It's not all day performance. Uh, on the ES7 range also, we were done finished trading at uh, 9.55 and I uh, did 1100. On the NASDAQ uh, three minutes, uh, we were done around uh, 11.30 and uh, it was 39.80. On the DAX, you can see obvious the, how flat the DAX was today. And uh, we did uh, 1500 on one trade. Um, on the ES, we were done around 1156, 2587 based on four minutes. This is not bad at all. Uh, the ES9 range was done around 1054. Uh, and it started around nine o'clock. The NASDAQ three minutes, uh, 39.80 and was done, stopped trading at 11 o'clock. And then uh, the five minutes, uh, 2300 uh, was done by 12 o'clock exactly. And you can see it was a big gap uh, between those two trades there is a because this uh, on that uh, chart we have filtered uh, when you filter the auto trade uh, does not take as many trade as you want but uh, then you can see the accuracy when ignite a trade is cleaning all the noises in the market uh, the YM uh, four minutes 1700 it was done around 11:35 and uh, the gold was uh, uh, done around 136 1400 and the nasdaq 600 
uh, was done by 9.40. They all finished around 10 o'clock, all of them, plus minus a few minutes. Uh, the gold on the one minute was done around 12.51. Uh, 2020. And then uh, we have the NASDAQ on the 500 take. Uh, it's 2600 it was only f 40 minutes in the trade that's it not the whole day so as we see let's if we look at the one minute chart here on the es uh, on the other channel uh, we were uh, also showing uh, and you can see there is not much a great movement uh, in the market today, but this is not bad. We finally, you know, um, I mean, you can see the spot here from uh, 12, even earlier when we were on the other channel live, uh, from 11.43 all the way to 2 o'clock to it was practically flat and then we got this little movement so that's how it is we wish you a very pleasant weekend and uh, thank you for every person thank you bye